March Restaurant in New York has, under chef co-owner Wayne Nish, attracted serious media attention. It won a Top Table Award in Gourmet's Reader's Poll, was cited in John Mariani's book on New York restaurants, and won a Golden Dish Award from GQ magazine in 1997. Here is sashimi in olive oil and soy sauce. Um, the dish is being made at March these days with a Japanese flatfish called harami. Harami is uh, very uh, similar to flounder, uh, small fluke, gray sole, lemon sole, Dover sole. But I've done the dish with a lot of other uh, fin fish, such as wild salmon, halibut, coho salmon, a number of different items. You can certainly get the fish filleted from your local fish market, but it's going to be critical to look for what is generally referred to as sashimi quality fish. because you really do want it as fresh as possible. And work with the one filet by grabbing an end of it and sliding my slicing knife underneath it and working back and forth in order to separate the skin completely from it and turn it over and check to see that I haven't left any of the skin or the, or the fat underneath it. Once I've got the filet off and there are no bones here at all, all I'm going to proceed to do is to slice on an angle very thinly. With my slicing knife. And if I get a little too thick simply turn my blade onto it and flatten it out so that it is tender and we're not spending any time chewing. I'll then take the sliced fish and place it in the serving plate in one thin layer across the bottom. It's not necessary to have slices that are exactly the same size. Just want small pieces that are easily eaten. The garnishes, as I mentioned before, or the success of the dish is the excellence of these garnishes. I'm using a, uh, extra virgin olive oil from the Chianti region of Italy, although I've used other oils over the years. This is a type of soy sauce, a type of Japanese soy sauce uh, called shirodashi. I've used regular Japanese soy sauces in the past, and, and a regular Japanese soy sauce, one that you'll be most common with, is made from uh, a, a, a distillation, a fermentation of uh, 80 percent soybeans and uh, 20 percent wheat. Shiro shoyu, which means white soy sauce, is made from just the opposite, 80 percent wheat and 20 percent uh, soybean. However, in that case, and this type of soy sauce is hundreds of years old, it is very, very delicate in flavor. 
What is typically done with it in order to bolster that flavor is to add typical dashi ingredients, which are dried fish, dried mushrooms, and dried uh, seaweed. After that is done and uh, flavors are extracted from it, it's then called shiro dashi. Shiro dashi is not a terribly common ingredient even in Japanese cooking. It is fairly rare even over there. You, it can be gotten here from uh, from Japanese suppliers and uh, specialty Japanese grocery stores. It has a very delicate flavor and tastes somewhat briny, uh, as you would imagine, from the addition of the, dry, of the dried fish. It, it is important that uh, the olive oil go on first so that the soy sauce doesn't stain. And then I'm gonna season with chives. Very finely minced. In an almost pointillist even cover of it. And then finish with dried sesame seeds, not the toasted ones, because the toasted ones are gonna be too, too uh, strongly flavored for this. And then the finished dish is exactly as you see it.